welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 40. The Cougars have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 45-yard line, second down, they'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. You know, this is just amazing. You spend six days planning as a defensive coordinator for one guy, and then you get the other quarterback. So now what happens? the catch and look out and he's taken down at the 15 yard line yeah, a little bit too much air under that throw but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes from the 15 yard line first down Quick throw in the end zone, touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes. So kudos to the quarterback. This is a big review right here. Was it an incompletion or a touchdown? think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a five-play, 61-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass, just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Now the defense has it. The safety. He's all the way. Touchdown. converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, 
sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down to keep the defense guessing. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Caught, open field, and down he goes around the 49-yard line. He makes it out to midfield. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They hand it off. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. Peyton, back to return it. They'll bring him down at the 27. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. He makes his way to about the 38. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. That makes it first, and ten. first and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Five wide. Catches it, and that's all. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Pitches back. Nice run there as they work the outside. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Carries the ball for a nice game. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Got a man. Watch out here. Steps out of bounds at the 42 yard line. They gained five yards there. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 42-yard line. They'll make the sack. The pressure got to him that time. Now they brought the heat here, and the linebacker was able to spring free for a big play. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Crockett is waiting for the snap. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. 
The Cougars are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Short over the middle, and they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Caught with room to work. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34. That'll bring an end to the first quarter of action. 14-0, Cougars. We welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Got some open field. Tackle at midfield. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From midfield. It's first down. Tries to get around the corner. To the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 14-yard line. see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. They'll bring him down around the 18-yard line. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That makes it second and 13. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. made at the 28-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. First down. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. Number five is in the quarterback. Backup quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Quick throw. Brought down at the 50-yard line. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. From the 50. First down. The Cougars, he's quarterback, taken off earlier. Down on the sideline right now. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day is over. Zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at the 39. Make 
takes the grab, and he's got the first. There's a very impressive open field tackle. First and 10. Ball in the 25. Runs right for a nice game. Inside the 10. Brad, you just don't see this very often anymore in college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the sidelines to the defensive coordinator for some help. They need to change things up. The back gets three on the carry. He really did a nice job of anticipating the run and making the play on the ball carrier. It's the ninth play of the drive. And he gets the touchdown. the PAT. A nine play, 73 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Peyton gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Steps up. The ball is loose. It's recovered for the 20. And look at the big guy go. And he scores. Touchdown. Great play here by the defender. You know, it's trickier than it looks to scoop up a loose ball and then get your motor started. But he's able to do it and made that play look smooth for the touchdown. the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From their own 41-yard line. First down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 31. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Throws it in a hurry. And that's a great tackle at the 29-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. They bring their quarterback down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So the sack makes this third and very long. Gets it 
it to his tight end, but it's knocked loose. Well, you'd think the big tight end would be able to absorb a hit and hang on to the ball, but he couldn't get the job done there. And they're coming after this putter. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cougars' offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention, really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. And they got him. The Cougars are going to call their second timeout. Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. And he's tackled at the 43 yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 38. Slings it. He steps out around the 20 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20 yard line. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. This is the eighth play of this drive. going to try and scramble and now he's going to run tackle made around the nine yard line the Cougars using their third and final timeout so they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends kicks up and it's good With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Runs outside for a nice game. We play to half. The Cougars in front, 31-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The paper, the stats, all the previews say this game should be even. It's not even at halftime. In fact, it looks as if this squad just got pushed around. They got bullied out here in the first half. Uh, one team's playing big boy football. The other team's playing peewee football. I mean, it's definitely been, it's been surprising to watch, but at some point, you just got to man up. I mean, you got to say enough's enough, and, and you got to respond because you had opportunities in the first half, and every single opportunity, big boy football kept winning. It's something, it, you got the little guys got to make a play. I mean, you can only get pushed around so much and, and not respond to it. And right now, it's just been disappointing to watch. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All 
All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. five-yard line. It's first down. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Tackle at the 30-yard line. From the 30-yard line, first down. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. It. He's in space. They'll bring him down around the 11 yard line. That makes it first, and first down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11 yard line. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss. This is smart, efficient play calling. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's out of bounds at the one. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Good outside run there. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hands it off. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. So they pick up the first down there. It was about a two-yard gain on the play. That's another rush from this halfback. This time, he does a great job of finding the opening in the defense and picking up a first down. They line up at the 12. First down. Under heavy pressure. And he tackles him hard at the 25. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Going long. He hauls it in to the 20, the 10. They get on the board again. Touchdown. 
This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. Eight-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. The Owls are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes try to get a little bit of momentum created and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. Get to that quickly. Brought down at the 49-yard line. First and ten. All in the 49. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. From the 38 yard line. Second down. He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds at the 30. Him. Number 80 was the intended receiver on the play. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They didn't get it. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Really a great stop by the defense. This will go down as one of those critical plays. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Steps up in the pocket. He gets rid of this one. Larry, Larry. Mark, four. Rush, rush, rush. Once and all, going deep. Caught sideline, and he stays in. That's a good game of 29 yards. That makes it first and 10. ten. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review the play, the rule on the field is reversed. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. He chucks it downfield. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. It's, 
It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they hit him in the backfield. I'm not even sure the ball carrier saw the corner coming for him. That happened so fast, he never had a chance to make a move. Well, with the fourth quarter at hand, this one's not even competitive. The Cougars in front, 38-7. Folks, we resume action here in the fourth quarter. We'll hope for some action because so far it's been a lopsided one. They bring him down in the backfield. Well, that's just a good call from the defensive side of the football. They know what this team likes to run. And they got the better of them that time. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. And they get nice yardage on that run. From their own 30-yard line. It's second down. Mike Four, Mike Four. Get up, three and eight. Get up. Back, back. And he's immediately tackled. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 27. He's taken down at the 18. That brings up second and one. Less than three minutes in the game. Broke away from one. Throws on a run, and he's got his wide receiver. Tackle made around the 17-yard line. From the 17-yard line. First down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. 
the offense gets a first down here. You've got to give them some credit. But really, this is more about the defense. When, when the defense gets an offense third down and medium, you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback, especially when they're passing the football, and try to get your own offense the ball back. And that time, they let their own offense down. And he just gets rid of it. We're at the 12th play of the drive. They come out in a goal line set. That's a great tackle at the three yard line. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three yard line. Sure, they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. He makes the PAT. They're not only the better football team on paper, as they've demonstrated today, they're the better team on the field today. And this offense has been outstanding. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Just under two minutes in the game. Nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 38 yard line. Tackled for a loss. That'll bring up third and six. The Cougars, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.